Hey guys, I'm back in this video. In today's video, I want to answer a question about bill switching between Finastrid and Dustrid increase possible hair shedding. And for you guys watching the channel for the first time, my name is Alex. I've been suffering hair loss since I was 18 years old, but I was able to get my hair back again. I'm now 37 years old and I still have my hair. So in today's video, I want to talk about the shedding effect from Finastrid and Dustrid. And uh, I have been taking Finastrid myself for the last 14 years, but uh, in 2011, uh, for several reasons that I have told about in previous videos, I did try Dutastrid. And when I switched to Dutastrid from Finastrid, uh, I have a, had a minimal hair shedding. And I, when I step it down again to, uh, from Dutastrid to Finastrid, I also had a minimal hair shedding. So there was not much difference for me, right? But I have basically spoken with the guys over the years who have had a severe hair shedding from doing that kind of switch. So it is quite an individual thing, right? And basically my point here is that if you do have a, uh, results from Finasteride, then there is no reason to kind of risk possible hair shedding and step it up to Dutasteride, right? And other thing is that uh, when we are blocking DHT, what we are kind of expecting is the stop of the hair loss progression and some thickness. And if you do have a bigger areas that you have to fill in and regrow, then basically you need to add some kind of growth stimulant and not rely just on, for example, DHT blocker like finasteride or dustrid, right? Because that's kind of that's kind of wrong way to do it, right? So you have to have some growth stimulant if you need to cover or recover bigger areas. So. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time. Cheers.